Hello everyone, it's Helen here with Helen with Helen. Thanks for joining me today. About a month ago, I did a workshop on strengthening your faith while drawing close to Jesus. And the night before my workshop, I came across the coolest thing on a social media platform, which was exactly what I was going to be talking about. So I didn't even know that this really existed, which is funny because over the 10 plus years, I've actually been doing this naturally, getting up and kind of doing this in sequence. And so then I came across this thing on social media and I was just like, what? Who would have thought? And so I just wanted to show you a way to start your mornings with Jesus. It's amazing. This right here is not my format, but I thought it was the coolest thing. So I wanted to share it with you because as I said, I've been doing this myself. And there for a minute, I was kind of like, oh, because I thought I was special <laughs> because this is something that Jesus has put on my heart over the last several years. And then I come to find out, I'm like, wait a second, he must be putting this on everybody's hearts. And so I absolutely loved it though. And I think this will genuinely help you to walk with him and for sure will definitely get your day going in the right direction. So even if you have to give yourself that extra hour in the morning, it is so worth it. And so I'm gonna show you this little worksheet. This is something that I just came up with myself, like that I colored in right here. So it says Jesus going down right here. And it's going to tell you exactly how to go in the mornings. I mean, obviously you can do it in your own format, but it just, for me, the one thing that I love to do in the mornings is I love to get up, make myself that yummy cup of coffee or tea or whatever you need. And I like to get my day going before anybody is up and moving. So that way I have the quiet, I have the peace, I have the stillness. I've been doing this for years and it is priceless. Even when I had a coffee shop and I had to be down there sometimes at 6.15, 6.30 in the morning, I would make sure to get up at like four o'clock just so I had this time with the Lord. And it really did set my day. So just setting it with intention. And so the first thing that I like to do is I like to sit in my chair, I'm drinking my cup of coffee and I pull out my journal. So J is for journaling. And I have so many people say, Helen, what do you do? Like when you journal, I've bought everybody a journal. And if you come to one of my workshops or events, you're getting a journal. <laughs> everybody during the holidays gets a journal and they're like, why do you keep buying me journals because they have been a lifeline for me. This is where I come to write God letters. And I know that sounds silly, but I'll just say like, dear God, I have this going on in my life. And next thing I know, I'm in a page, two pages, three pages. So I love, love, love to just talk to him and tell him what's going on in my life and just put pen to paper. I also like to write down just silly things in my journals, like, you know, grocery lists and to-do lists and just the things that you wouldn't really think about. And then also I like to write scriptures and I also like to put prayers in there for people. So just whatever I'm feeling in each and every one of my journals over the last 10 years have been something completely different. It just depends on the season of life I'm in. And I plan on doing something really special with my journals here in the future. Um, so we'll talk about that at a later date, but journaling this way, you're just putting, like I said, all your thoughts onto paper and it could be something so simple. And you know, there's even times and mornings where it's just like, I have teardrops literally on the page where I'm just like, it's scribble and I'm kind of crying and just trying to get through it. And so, and something that I love to do daily, and you obviously can take your journal with you anywhere. So if you don't have time to do it in the morning, you can do it in the afternoon, you can do it before bed, whatever works for you. But again, this is just the way I like to start my day. And then we have E. So E is for engage. And right now, this is the time where you're just going to worship God in any way that you see fit. You can throw on some worship music while you're doing your hair, while you're in the bathroom, while you're getting ready in the morning, while you're getting the kids going, whatever it is, throw on some worship music. Some great worship music would be on like K-Love, whatever your station is for K-Love. You could also get on Spotify and you can look up so many different great artists. You can look up Elevation Worship, Torn Wells, Lauren Daigle, Casting Crowns, whoever you like to listen to. There are so many great artists out there. You can even throw on some songs from your favorite social media platforms right here. I find tons of stuff right here on YouTube. And so just getting into some music, listening to it, just setting the mood, setting the tone for the day. And another thing that I absolutely love to do is I like to watch online pastors. I'm going to watch them all day long, literally. And I don't have one favorite. I watch like eight of them <laughs> because they're all different. They all have their different, unique like personality. And so I love them all. And so some of my favorites are, I love Joyce Myers. I love Stephen Furtick. Um, I love Greg Laurie and there's 
Joel Osteen, the list goes on and on. And so I will watch every single one of them or as many as I can before I get my day going. So another great one is Creflo Dollar. So you find your favorites, whoever speaks to you, speaks to your heart and you just start watching those. But again, just getting that word in and going is another great way to start the day. And then we've got S, so that's studying. This is where you're gonna get into the word. You're definitely gonna want some quiet, peace and quiet. So if this for you is in the morning, great. If it's in the afternoon, perfect. A lot of times people are like, I have more you know, time to myself at bed, whatever works for you. But this is where the S is you're going to study your scripture, you're gonna get in, you're gonna read a chapter or two or three, but you're gonna give yourself that five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, an hour, whatever works for you. And so you're getting in there, you're reading, you're studying it. And then you're going to go to the U, which is going to be understanding. So because you're going to want to understand what you just read. So you're going to read it, reread it and read it again. You're going to want to have like a meditation time with that. You're going to be like, okay, what is it that I just read? How does that apply to me? And you're going to want to have that understanding. And this would probably be an area too, where you're going to want to write this down in your journal. If something like jumps out at you, anytime you read something more than once, I believe it's him trying to speak to you and it's of importance. And so it's definitely something you may want to write down as in like your favorite scripture book or in your journal. So then that way you can make reference back to that. And that's been my personal experience with that. And then final, it's S. And so this is where you're going to speak to God. This is the time where you are going to pray to him. So you're going to let it all out because he wants to hear from you. This is where your faith comes into because we already know right here, it says your faith and prayers is what God is waiting for because that's what activates him to move on your behalf. And so that's what he wants. He wants to hear from you. He already knows everything. However, he wants to personally hear what you have to say from your heart, from your mouth. And so this is a time to just give Give it all to him and and it doesn't have to be a fancy prayer i know some people do pray very very great fancy prayers i love it actually when somebody does a bold prayer over me i'm like whoo that's powerful <laughs> but sometimes it's just going to be messy and in fact i can't even recall two months ago when i was just like help like god help <laughs> a simple help i need you I, I was even spelling out my address to him i was like my address is this this and this and this is where i live and i need you now and so god gets it he hears it and he knows your heart and so any way that you come to him he just wants you to come to him and so last but not least you're going to speak you're going to pray and you're going to just lay all your requests at his feet before the lord so there you guys have it that is your jesus and that will be able to get your day going hopefully in the right direction and um, I thank you again for watching today I know that this has really helped me and I hope that it'll help you God bless bye Hey everyone, it's Helen here. Before we get started, if you like this content today, I would appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I could really appreciate the followers. Thanks again for watching.